So today's Free Lesson Friday, we're honoured to have Robert Rock, European Tour Professional and European Tour Coach. Robert, I believe you're going to give us a few tips on playing into the wind today. Yes, um, it can get quite windy up here on this course. I've played it a number of times and it's quite open, so you'll, you'll often face shots into the wind. And when I play generally with people that are other than pros, I, it, the tendency is to always come up short into the wind. They, underestimate the strength of the wind and, and what it can do to the, the flight you ball. Now for example if we play to this 150 yard marker here, 150 yards give or take would be how far it on nine iron on eight iron. Some people just get on just see the 150 yard mark and just go let's play nine iron from there, it doesn't matter what the wind does, and they just play back to the nine iron there. Right? Right, right. And occasionally you might strike it good enough to make that work. It's very rare. So this would normally land at 150, so I'll just keep this and we'll see what this wind does to you. Get to the top of the flight and then it kind of stalls and just starts ripping back out. And that's probably finished 15, 15 yards short. So, a, a good thing to do on the course as well, if you make the mistake early on and you come up 15 yards short, that's a good starting point for the strength of the wind. So use a 15 number to add on to your yard and you can see where your ball pitches on the green engage it from that. But I, if I knew this was into wind, I would never hit a 9 iron from this I would almost never hit an 8 from this yardage either. Right, so my first point of call on the course would be to go up to my 7. And you've got to, you've got to hit it soft enough that it can't climb up in the air. So, 7 iron need normally go 170. 20 yards too much. We're gauging a 15 yard wind ish. Yep. So I'm still hitting this really soft because I want my ball to do that rather than right. that. So you're kind of taking the spin off a little bit? Yeah, taking the spin off purely through not hitting it very hard. Right? Because your ball only spins its full amount and you play a full shot. So I'm now going to hit what I think is going to be 20 yards under a normal 7 iron. That'll look like quite a slow swing, right? But yep. I'm, people can judge for themselves how they do it. I'll do the shorter back swing or you just tone the whole thing down a little bit, right, so you just coast through it. So, if I show you the full 7 iron first of all, so you get an idea of the speed. Does that mean full 7 iron? That's comfortably gone past the answer. <laughs> comfortably gone too far. Yeah. When you're playing into the wind now, you don't want to ever hit your full, full out shot. You, the full, the full shots, when it's windy, downwinds and that's about it. Yep. Uh, unless in certain circumstances that would make a full shot, but the idea one to make a ball stop on the grid. But for my 150 seven, going 15 to 20 mile an hour wind, it's this sort of speed. Yeah, you can see it's one noticeably slower. I've not done anything fancy trying to knock it down, that's the right length, but it's 70% uh, speed. And you might have to practice a little bit to, to actually get the strike because toning the whole thing down knocks you off a little bit. But the only thing I've probably done there is not, not allowed a full weight shift. Okay. The full weight shift with the flow of the full rhythm of swing, you're used to timing the strike. So I probably just accept, I'm, I'm not trying to generate too much power, it's an extended pitch shot. Yep. Weight's a little bit on the left, and just a Posting through it to keep the then it won't spin up in the air. Would you uh, would you notice the ball back in the start a little bit? That's another thing you could do to, if the strike goes off when you slow the whole thing down, you could do that. But if it, if it doesn't, right, if you strike it okay by just swinging nice and steady, just carry on with that. But if, if you swing them through hard, it won't go up in the air. Then you'll get the predictable distance. There you go guys, some great advice from Robert Rock, top European tour player and top European tour coach. Good luck this weekend with that piece of advice.